Hello everybody and welcome back to the wonderful workshop as it is. Today we're going to do something slightly different. Uh, it's not actually related to any of the vehicles we're working on, it's related to camper vans in general. Now we all know when we buy vans as self-builders, they're never brand spanking you off the production line unless you're worth a lot of money and you can do that. But most of us, we go out and we buy our second hand van. Most of these vans are usually workers vans, contractors vans, depending on which country you're in. And they're filthy. The seats are absolutely filthy. So today we're going to be cleaning a seat out of a van. And it was a working van. And it's been, I think, a painter's van at one time. It was even a dog walker's van. So it's dog hair, all sorts. So it's quite a, a dirty seat. And hopefully we can rejuvenate it a little bit and bring it back to, not brand new, we're never going to make it brand new, but it's going to hopefully look a lot better than the way it's looking right now. So to do this, we're going to have to use a range of products. And let me show you them right now. Right, everybody, these are the products that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using some microfiber towels, a selection of brushes, including a toothbrush, a three-piece kit that I ordered off of Amazon. This is an interior detailing brush and a set of detailing brushes which have come from Halfords. And that is just the brush attachment for our shop vac. We're going to be using some multi-purpose cleaner and stain remover which is used on all fabrics, carpets and that. It's a turtle wax product so it is for the inside of cars. So we're going for literally everything that's used for inside of cars or vans or whatever. And also we're going to be using an all-purpose cleaner. I'll explain why and what we're going to use that for in a little, little while. Also we have one of these Bissell Spot Cleaner Pro and the products they come with are the Oxygen Boost which is a formula which you would actually add to with the spot stain. So we're going to be using that on the seat as well. So this is what we're going to be using today. Um, we will be following a process. So today what we will be doing is hoovering the seat off first, removing most of the dust and dirt. Then we're going to be agitating whatever's left on the seats using the selection of brushes, the brush attachment for the hoover. And once we're satisfied with that and it's clean, we're going to attack the metalwork around the bottom of the seat, the actual seat frame, with some all-purpose cleaner. And microfiber towels again. Again, we're going to be making sure we use quite a few of these because you don't want to be putting dirt back on once you've taken it off you're using the same cloth all the time so there's nothing left really to do but get on with the job so let's take a look at the seat as you can see around this edge here loads and loads of dog hair and dirt <laughs> and grime we may even get some black spray on that to tidy this up and here particularly Look at there, absolutely dirty. We're going to be cleaning all that off. Now if you look at the seat, it's not in the best condition. It's come out of a van, which is a 2003 van. And you know, there's wear and tear on it. Um, marks and stains and dirt and dust. But hopefully by the end of this session it should be a lot cleaner than it is now it's not going to be perfect well, it might be who knows until the end of it so let's give it a go shall we right when you're cleaning seats and hoovering them off try and get in all the little crevices behind the seat i mean not all seats come up like this so the best thing to do with these seats if you can't lift your seats up get right down in the back there as far as you can get are you finding dog hairs already Now we've given it a quick vacuum off, I'm going to be using this brush and this brush, just to agitate the dirt.
we vacuum the seat, it's time to give it a shampoo. That is now fully covered. And what we're going to do now is agitate it like a floor brush. If you notice, I'm actually working in circular motions. So I go with every grain of the fibre. to leave it for five minutes. So we would be leaving it for five minutes. There's a couple of stubborn stains there. You might think I'm using quite a lot. I am. But because we've got the um, Bissell Pro extractor as well, it won't soak the seat too much that we won't be able to get it off. Right, any of the products that I'm using today, they're not sponsored by anybody. It's something that I walked into Halfords this morning and bought. Apart from the brush set, which come off of Amazon. The rest of it, all from Amazon, all from Halfords. The shop vac we had, the Bissell Pro Cleaner we had, but all the products, basically at your Halfords store. So anybody can go and buy it. And also on that note, people are gonna say they can't afford the shop vac, they can't afford the water extraction machine. So I say get creative. If you've got dirty seats, go and buy yourself one of these. Or if not that, use a Vanish carpet or upholstery foam from Tesco's or Sainsbury's, wherever you shop. Buy yourself a floor brush like that, from the same aisle probably in Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, wherever you go. Use that to clean your seat. Everybody must have a Hoover. If you haven't got a Hoover, go to a garage. Put some money in the machine, hoover it off. While you're there, clean your seats. And once you've cleaned your seats and scrubbed it up, left it five minutes, who've used their machine to hoover it back off. Because I think you'll probably find most of the vacuums in these places are wet vacs. So give it a good hoover off afterwards. Use your microfiber towels as well. While we're at it, Let's have a scrub with one of these. I'm going to show you the brush in a minute. Now, all I've done is wiped over this seat with the microfiber towel. Right, let's see what dirt. There you go. That was a brand new brush with dirt on that. And there is the dirt on the towel. So that's gonna be ingrained into the seat. That's why you've got to leave it for five minutes. Going back to the garage. You're probably asking yourself, how are you gonna drive home with wet seats? Take, take a couple of bin bags with you, put one over the back, stick one on the seat, drive home, leave it overnight to dry. So anybody can clean their seats for literally next, next to nothing. You don't have to take it out of the vehicle. I took this one out of the vehicle because we're going to go the extra mile with this. Um, more than likely end up doing the other one as well. Um, we're going to end up doing a full valet on the vehicle. But it's going to be a project in motion type thing. It's not going to happen all in one day. 
I just like to try these products and find the best products that's going to be good for camper vans and tell you what I think of it. Like I say, none of it's paid promotion or anything. It's all, all spent out of my own pocket. And give you honest reviews of what's going on and what, what, what I'm using. Um, so far, I must admit that spray foam is quite good. We've got a dodgy bit here though, which I'm not happy about. Give it another go. Let's try a smaller brush on it. Yeah, that's some ingrained dirt. I think with a little knife, we can pick that off. Right, we're gonna give this five minutes. I've talked for a couple now. We'll be back, be back shortly. I was going to leave you for five minutes. What we're going to do, we're going to have a go at getting some of this horrible grimy stuff off of the seat frame. Right, to clean this seat frame, we're going to use the Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. And again, this is somewhere where we can use the, to the toothbrush around this area. Look at what's coming off of there. See, you can definitely tell the girl that owned this before us. Like dogs, and did dog walking. Look at the state of that. Literally, a pack of toothbrushes a pound. Use it, bin it. And use the, up, the back end of the brush, put on your microfiber towel, and get right in those crevices. Look at that. So there you go. And that's the dirt from just one side. So let's turn it around and do the other side. So now that's all nice and clean, I'd like to say you could eat your dinner off it, but I wouldn't like to try. A lot cleaner than it was. Now we're gonna get onto the seat and we're gonna hopefully remove a whole lot of dirt out of that seat. We will see. Right, so what we're gonna do now is get the Bissell Pro up.
give that a good going over. But what I intend to do, if I sprayed it, then I hoovered it afterwards. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have the spray on while I'm hoovering. So I'm gonna go over it again. Cause I know that dirt is ground deep down in there. And what I'll do, I'll get the camera over so you can see how dirty the water is going up through the pipe. But you're really interested to see how dirty that water was, aren't you? That came out of the seat. Not very nice. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. What I might do is dry these rails off down the bottom here, and especially on the rusty spots, give it a quick spray with some hammerite spray. We've got some left in a can that we used on one of our projects. We need to leave that to dry. So that will stay in here drying overnight. If anyone's got any better ideas or anything better to use cleaning these seats or think they can do something better, please leave your comments below. Now, I would love to know if you like the idea of going to the garage, buying that, going to the garage, giving your seats a quick clean. Because if you do it every so often, it, it will keep them good, especially if you've got a newish vehicle. Do it once every month. Take you, what, half an hour? And so you don't need any expensive materials, any expensive tools, just a couple of brushes, some microfiber cloths, and some foam cleaner. Anyway, I feel like I'm waffling. I hope you're staying safe, all well, and everything's good with everybody. Stay happy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. I know I actually said bye for now, but I've actually for, I've decided to spray the frame of the seat with the hammerite. I was going to give it a bit of a touch up, but I'm actually going to do a bit more. As you can see, I masked up the seat. So I'll throw this in and add, add it extra. Hi everybody, I'm actually sat in my van and you've probably just watched my video where I clean the cloth seats. And the reason I'm sat in my van is because I'm actually looking at mine, assessing mine thinking, I think mine actually need a good clean as well. Um, especially after the results that I've got um, with this video, you know, it's really pleased me. Um, it's inspired me to actually try some more products. I'm going to be trying that Vanish Foam on 
some seats you know I'm gonna try a few different bits and pieces but what I'll do is at some point during my series of videos I will put an update if I find anything that's better more easier to use but yeah do you know what I had to come and sit in my van to do the end into this video because I miss my van I miss going away and I'm starting to feel a little bit a bit like a hermit and you know I'm looking at this thinking oh, I just want to be away and somewhere warm and but I know I've got to stick with it and but anyway it's enough of that I hope you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments below I do try and make them as entertaining as possible um, we've got some good stuff coming up thinking about what I have got to do and not got to do and so and I hope you like if there's anything in particular that you want to see or you or interested in seeing let me know I say I've got loads of builds so loads of stuff to do on these builds so if there's anything in particular that you're thinking you don't quite know or that you know that you would really really like to see please leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure I do a video on it and obviously if it's anything to do with the builds and it's a bit further on it, you know, I will say in one of my videos when it's going to be coming up, how long it'll be. But the traffic's going to be quite a quick project. So everything you see on here is basic with more, most builds. So again, stay safe, stay well, stay happy. And I'll see you next week in the videos. Like I say, videos come out every Thursday. I'll try and fit some in between if I can. So bye for now.